Okay, so I was working on this, and I just have to make a short video on this, because this is, like, ingenious uh, engineering. You don't see stuff like this today. So, you know, a lot... This is a 1980s wood grain. Here's the cover. A Mana Rata range. I'm taking it apart because... Well, I'm going to try to clean inside the door, and I'm taking this plastic cover off, and this is the part that I really wanted to make a video on is what's under there but I'm also lubricating the motor because that was starting to make some dry bearing sounds so now that's very uh, in good shape I'd like to mention don't take apart microwaves there are several parts in here that can kill you even if the thing's unplugged like this capacitor here okay having said that most microwaves now have a plate yeah, there's crap in here. That's why I'm cleaning it. Have a plate in the bottom that spins and it's got a motor on it. And it spins the food around. That way it gets evenly cooked. This one doesn't have that. It just has a glass tray that goes in the bottom. Now what they had before that, a lot of a lot of the really old ones, you had to take the food out and turn it every now and then. This one you don't. This one evenly cooks things. And a lot of them do. But a lot of them in the top here have a motor in here that turns a metal I don't know if it's reflector or what it is but it's got a motor in there that turns it this one has a really good design at least I think so because it's simple and it's less to break but it still works really well and it's working after all these years and I have never taken this part apart to see it so if we look here this is this is obviously the fan that blows air over the magnetron to cool it but this has an air duct if you look and it goes in there and it goes back behind where this is so if we pull this thing out I've already got the screw out of it you'll see this and this is the metal deflector and what this does is you know microwaves go through plastic so it's gonna go through this but it's it doesn't go through metal so this is gonna deflect it and spin around this is just moved by air. Yes, that's dirty. It probably hasn't been taken apart in, since it was new. I don't think anyone really takes these things apart. But that comes in here, then exhausts through there. Now, if that's not pretty genius, I don't know what is. And the thing is, this is, like, really easy to move. Like, watch this. If I just blow on it, like, barely... barely blowing on it there and it's just rotating and it's on two it's on it's got a plastic bushing in here and then it's got a plastic bushing here and i don't know what this is not really i'm not sure what it's made of but if we look at it under a light you'll see it has like little little grooves in it you can't really see that anyway this is not like it's really I don't know what this is made of, but it's really, it's got grooves in it, and it's like really slippery. Like it's got oil infused into it. And it goes on here, and this goes on there, and it takes hardly any, anything at all to move it. And I'll demonstrate with this hair dryer here, which hardly moves any air, if I don't flip it over. Why is it not on? What's wrong here? Why is the hair dryer not working? There it goes. Okay. So just watch this. Shit. This is probably about the same amount of air that it has that comes out of there. And you'll see this thing just spins around like, like crazy. things like this you, you don't see stuff like this in new things because it's just too reliable i mean air blowing over a piece of metal that spins how mo much more simple that can that can it get the new ones you got to have a servo motor that turns a gear that turns a round piece of plastic with wheels on it that turns a heavy metal tray which turns the food and then when that motor burns out 
or those gears strip out, you have to replace this thing. This thing has a fan that blows over a piece of metal that spins. That that's the kind of this, this is this is the kind of thing that I really like right here. And you can say what you want to. Oh, they used plastic. Da 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 da. Sure, they used plastic, but this thing is from the '80s, over almost 40 years old probably. And this is still working just fine. Still hasn't seized up or anything like that. And I do have it apart and I would try to lubricate it. But this thing is just, that is like really slippery as it is. And it spins so well. And I feel that if I put any type of oil on there, it would actually add more resistance. So we're just going to leave that how that is. And put it back. It's worked for 40 years. I'm sure it'll work for another 40 years. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I just had to share this.